Hello, hello, hello. I got another video. Got something pretty good to do too. It's pretty good. All you need is USB and three tools. Easy peasy. We are going to unlock using tools to hack into this. It's BitLock protected. Basically, we're going to use BitLocker to John to get into this. See? We are going to use three tools and the USB flash drive. Let's begin. First, we're going to do it through VMware though. We're going to go to... Yeah, don't worry about how many stuff I got on the computer. I know I got so much. I'm going to delete that. This is for educational purposes. This is not encouraging you to do any illegal activity. Let's close out of that. Now let's look for VMware. It's right. Let's just go to here. Open. Cancel. Let's go to here. If it'll open. There it goes. Kali Linux, power on, Get the full screen, continue, and for the boot up, go to UDD, get some image, some image thing, and we're going to use the image technique, use your password, there are two other techniques, might be in other videos, so let's get in this, uh oh, Password Not bad. Hop it on in. <clears throat> Wait for it to wake up. I uh, yeah, I'm using Kali Purple too. The the defenders one. There are two versions. There's Kali Linux and there's Kali Purple. I'm using the Kali. Linux or Cali Purple. Let's connect the USB flash drive. Removable. We're gonna connect this. It'll be right in here. There it is. See? You can't get into it. Let's put passwords. You can't get into it. So, we're gonna use tools to get into this USB flash drive. Open terminal. These are what you're gonna need. You're gonna need these tools. You do not need this locker, but it's optional. That. That. Hash. This is what we're going to use. We're going to use this thing right here. Hash cat. And... John the Reaper, or Ripper, or Reaper, or Reaper. Let's proceed. First things first. Let's go. Let's do John. Let's do, uh, I almost got bring that. Let's do sudo bitlocker to John. Oh, almost forgot. We're going to need the DD. Type this command in. We are going to, this will automatically say, to find your driver for this, for the USB flash drive, you can easily do F disk. Oh, sudo. This is, it'll be labeled FAT32, 14 gigabytes. Yes, I know y'all see these other drivers, but actually, this is the one right here. My bad, that's my fault. This, if you look for anything USB, that's it. That's what we need right here. So it'll be this one right here. So what we can do is clear out of this. Uh oh. Pseudo. Brain frogs again. Let's go to. Let's go to other his. I've already did this once. 
let's see the code. Hmm, what was that one command? I will show you how to use John and Hashcat to crack the same hash file or have you're basically looking for that. Oh, this is the tool we use and it should be a better name. Let me see. It's formatted according to I, I don't know what type of tool it is. I just I just researched about it. I don't know the exact name. If y'all know the name of it, let me know in the description. But I'm still learning. When I do do, what am I getting do do from? Okay, type by command in. Probably said the same exact thing multiple times. Enter. Okay, now we gotta open a new terminal. Put that right here. Now let's get BitLocker. I think it might be best to get this run for a little while. It's just a little while. Or do or while it's running, perform the next step. Pseudo BitLocker. We are going to just output this, and you could find your location by opening the folder. Depending on which directory, just drag and drop, just like so, to put in the location if you need that. But if you see how it's black, CLS, not CLS, that's Windows command. This status equals progress. Let you, if you just write it without this, you, you won't know if it's working or not. So that also helps you out to make sure. Uh oh. Let me cancel that. Got to delete it again. This is the hard part. You got you to gotta do it. You got to. It's forensic tools pretty much. It's using forensic analysis to be able to get this used. And there are some other tools, but this one seems a lot better. PDX forensic, forensic imaging tools. Uh, Gaia Major might be a tool that could be used to make an image file, maybe. Still learning. But, we are going to need to let it run, and I know I deleted it, wasting time, I'm sorry. This is the, this is the tricky part, is trying to make, to let this run a good while. Trying to get out, we need mega data, is just what we need. That's what makes it chill. Dang, what am I saying? Bit locker to John. You should be able. There are more than just one tool. Let me get out of this. You can also download the Windows version. Do the same with TAC by downloading the zip file. Then go right click in this. This is the same exact tool as DD. And you can do the same exact thing with this. These are all tools that I've actually downloaded for Windows Edition. See, run. There's a lot more on the Windows Edition somehow. BitLocker to John. Bitcoin to John. Basically, a suit of tools. But if you are if you don't feel like downloading anything on your computer and you just want to use Linux, you can also download that too. Go into Kali Linux. Kali Live. Get Kali Linux. You can download from this official website. Kali Linux is the original one. Scroll it down and get Kali Purple. Click the download link. And then. Hex. Oh, let me just look up VMware. Okay. Let's see. VMware. Took me a while to find originals. Okay. I've tried this, but I think the website is down because I have heard. Oh, right here. This is where I downloaded mine. I mean, when I first downloaded it, I was like, is this safe? Is this, is this good to is this? So I downloaded it. It's pretty safe. You can download this easily. It's probably checking Windows, and there you go. We have 16.1 gigs. Is that enough? Probably not. Because that's the hard part. That's what takes a while. Invalid signatures found out. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. No signature found. That's the tricky part. It's trying to find a signature. <sighs> That's the tricky part. So I'm going to get back to y'all when this is done. 
Okay, that took so, so long. We finally got it after so long. You gotta keep this thing running more than an hour, it feels like. And then keep executing while this is running. And keep executing while this is running. Until you see output like this. These are the hashes we're dealing with right here. Now we can perform hacks. Just like so. Okay, what we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to do echo. Cheat that. Oh, I have already done this once, so I'm gonna have to clear all of this. Now we can just copy this hash. This is the user password hash right here. Copy. Yes. Paste clipboard. Okay. Just make sure it's. Yep. Okay. Now we can hack it. Okay. Here's our hash. Now who's ready to hack this? I already do have a file already, but it has like, like two or three passwords. So now we're gonna do John. Just like so, John, the location of your hash file, dash dash word list, the location of your rock you or whatever your password txt is. But I'm going to do the hash cat way. Let's do, and then we're going to do the John way. Let's do sudo hash, uh oh, hash cat, uh oh. Hash, run that command right there. Not that was clear out of that. Okay, I gotta remember to do the commands. A TXT. Okay, this tool does use if you have a if you're on the actual hardware, it does use GPU by default. It can also use CPU if you like. But we're just gonna run the command, it won't take but a minute and we cracked it. And all we gotta do is specify the location of our password file. Where all the passes are at desktop. And who's ready for the magic to happen? Let's hope this works. Let it do its starting. Starting. Uh oh. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Oh. Oh. Look what we got. BitLocker. Right here. BitLocker. The password. The password is right. Here, candidate dash one cybertech. That's the password right there. Okay, okay. To view it again, let me see if that's a way to view it. Let's go to. Uh, I'm trying to remember my commands I use. I'm still new to this, but I'm still learning. Bet you're learning with me. Okay. Type that command in right there, and you'll see the password right at the end of the ha of the ha of this bit locking file. Type passcat, and yeah, and now let's use John. Same technique, just a lot easier. All we gotta do is type in John. Let me show you the commands. All John stuff. Yeah, John. Okay, John, location of the user file with the pat where the hash is at. Brain freeze. Oh, not lo not that. Let's go back. Oh, X out. Open here. There we go. But yeah, that DD command takes forever. You gotta at least give it like at least two hours until you're able to use it again or check every so often. Clear all this out. This is where the hash file is at. Okay. Word list equals location of where your password file is at. This is BitLock hacking. And we press enter. Voila. You have successfully hacked BitLocker. John can do, you can use Hashcat or John.
here's the password so if we go to this little thing right here USB's right here let's type in cyber tech and enter we're in voila we have successfully hacked the bitlock USB flash drive this technique should also work on regular hard drive it just it might need more knowledge of how to read the hard drive because it's, it's a hard drive it's it physically connected to your motherboard instead of having a little USB flash drive but yeah this thing has OS let's see what's in it it probably don't have much of anything repos Linux 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 this is basically a osam.system that's another video I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all how to hack people's login all you and I all you got all you need is terminal or as admin run a few commands make sure to save this but I did create it's gonna make it easier for me we're gonna use another tool to make these work but that's another video but that's it for right now and I know I've talked too much but if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more give me a like and comment and subscribe what you want to learn next this or so join my discord it should be in the the subscription, but yeah, we successfully hacked a bit locked flash drive. We could do the same exact thing with the ready. Well, we can put in the same exact password. Let's close this out. I know the video's almost over. Just, just give me a few more minutes. Okay, uh oh, let's go. Make for this shut down. Windows D. Okay, but yeah, I, don't judge my work. I know, I know I got too much talk on my computer. No judging. Okay, let's go to the flash drive. We still remember the password, right? Cybertech, right? So, uh oh. Cy uh oh. Dang it. Cyber tech. Right there. Unlock. Voila. Easy peasy. You can use Hascat or John the Ripper. But it's mostly, it's, I think John Rip, Reaper is a better tool. It's, it's, it's not important because Haskell is a lot hard to learn. So I, so I think John Reaper might be a start with password hacking. But thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and sub if you enjoyed the video. And if you want more, comment down below what you think you want to learn or join my Discord. Thanks for watching. Peace out.